So once I get done here, I can right click on this datum and in, in here, uh, uh, I totally missed it, but there's a way to go ahead and look at the diagnostic report and it tells you what you did wrong. I mean, sometimes CATIA can be a little vague about it, but it does tell you what the GD, what you did wrong. You kind of messed up on the targets or the wrong surfaces. Gives you a place to start at least. Yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and add this datum as a datum reference frame, and I'm just going to pick an A. So now we're going to go up to this data B hole, which is that perpendicularity here. We're going to start just by creating a size. It's ah, So here's another one. A lot of times when we come in here, and this is uh, something that Gary Bell just hates and is frustrated about it, but... Um, so two things before I go on. Two things. One is that the plane actually, um, I wanted to use the same plane up here, but it was in a different direction due to that hole. So now it's going to defi define its own plane. So now there's going to be this view frame, and it's backwards, it's upside down. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select transfer to view. Oh, I'm sorry, that wasn't the wrong. Escape. I want to change view support. So I just want to go ahead and invert that. It's still upside down. I want to pick this plane because I know what that plane is there. There it is. So, so in the sense, when you're going through creating all these views, these directions, and what um, the datums, uh, it's a good idea to have your uh, kind of a basic knowledge of creating wireframe uh, for to specify GDT. I defined this plane before so I can get this as a, an actual hole. And so now this this tolerance here is actually, a, you know, looks better. It's uh, perpendicular to that hole. It's in the same view frame that I want it. And then I can go ahead and dress it up a little bit so it's not... Um, I like pretty GD and T. All right, so starting from this size, we have um, once we pick that size, a bunch of other options will come in. I want to pick datum A as my reference datum, and it's now going to change it so that it says, "Oh, you got perpendicular profile." I'm going to pick that perpendicularity, which is at zero, and at MMC. And then with that still selected, I would have to unselect the datum and make datum B. So now I can go in here again. I have two datums now. I'm going to make datum A, and I'm going to turn this modifier on to make B at MMC. And then all the way in the back, we got this, this slot. It's going to be our datum C. So I'm going to go ahead and pick these two surfaces, make the slot size. This is still using that same view from datum B. So it's still going to be parallel. It's going to look nice and sweet. I'm going to change it up, give it a better, let's see. Okay, so this is semantic. 0 0.2 and 0. Okay, so this one, going back to this drawing, is a uh, size at plus 2 minus 0 um, with position at 0 and at state of C. And I'm going to pick this datum reference and then go with the position. Zero. So now that I got this datum here, 
uh, I'm going to make or this tolerance here. I'm going to make it um, C. Here it is. And then I'm going to make the reference frame again. So A, B, and C. 